Lord Lu Bu. Hmm? Diao Chan, you're okay. Yes, as is my father. Oh, oh. I must find a place where my father can live out his days in peace. I fear that he is no longer welcome here. However, I will return one day to finally be by your side. Until then, please take care. Suit yourself. Welcome back everyone to Three Kingdoms. I've really been enjoying the game and I hope that after we're done with our Lubu campaign, people might want to see another one. There's many major characters I have yet to play, but let me tell you, they have really improved the game from launch. And there are so many mods out there making the game visually more impressive. I just can't wait to see what else do they have. Now, whenever I begin a new game, I would be able to use that one incredible mod called Make Them Unique, where we would have a lot more custom characters in the game, which really does help flesh things out. I mean, Let's have a look now at what we need to do, which is to build a mail post over in Nanyang. Xianyang needs an inn, and in any trade port, I need an inn and potentially some tea farm as well. Lu Bu is right over here. He's about to make it into Jiangxia, but before we do that, let's have a look at our lands. I'm building up a lot around here. Like over here in Rudinan, I'm finally getting a city. A small city, but a city nonetheless. There are many things I need to build up. We could use more commerce income, more industry income. And if I want to get rid of food, I could also elevate my public order in a few areas too. I mean, we have options in the world of what we can do. Like over here, 10% replenishment, you lose a little bit of population, but that replenishment could allow you to get back into combat so very quickly. And let's have a look now at what else we can do. A non-aggression pact, not on my watch at all. There's no one that I really want to treaty with. The Yellow Turbans want nothing to really do with me, which is fine. And I do want a bigger army. I want a much bigger army over here. It might finally be time to pick one up. So who am I going to hire? Diao Chan is currently deployed. Lu Ji is my daughter. I do wish she had a unique model considering her incredible stats. I mean, that's plus 50 points, which is really not bad. But more importantly, 15% unit replenishment. We might have to use her anyway. But... Here I have an army where I might actually end up using two vanguards, largely because I got Machao and Jia Shu could also join in. I mean, I've got a lot of vanguards, so I've got options, but using Dion Wei wouldn't hurt. Shaho Yuan would be great to use in my view. So I do have options on what I can throw out there. I do want people to like each other. So you know what, Shaho Yuan? Come on out. I'm going to change your army later. I don't want to spend all of my money, but we will slowly build up what we have currently. Okay, it is now time for me to end my turn because we need Lu Bu to run through everyone. And you'll pay me to go fight Pei Yi. Well, I'm fighting him now. Okay, sure, thank you for free money. I'm not gonna give you lands, by the way, but thank you for free money. What now? Kong Rong and Zhang Yon. Sure, I'll say yeah, now this two will like me more. The mercantile master. The man who's got the money. Money bags McGee is what they call him. If they called him that in ancient China, I would be very concerned. Then I would question how I messed up the timeline. What I will also do for a future playthrough, once I have a mod collection together, I will share it with all of you. That way you can also use my mod collection. And over here, we're no longer fighting that bandit. Let's have a look around here again. All right, you have invited Sun Tzu into your coalition. Hey, he is now fighting that person. Living in harmony. Chun Yu and Lady Beyond are now living in harmony. Oh no, Lu Bu might not like that. Okay, friends. Shaho Yuan and Shu Nyu, they are now friends. Good. We have many people of merit. I did add in one mod that's meant to make generics look more interesting. First off, incredible job. Secondly, now I'll have to check on who actually has legendary stats or not. <laughs> It'll be a little bit more work for me, but it should be worth it. Now, Lu Bu will come over here to Jiangxia farmland. It'll be an easy way for me to take care of them. Okay, it's only a small garrison. We can easily get rid of them. And yeah, one person said... And I believe it was Matt who said this too, that here's a game where I actually want to see the diplomatic options. It's really cool. I've gained 15 fame and fortune. 
Ah. Well, I shall now occupy. That belongs to me. Very cool, though. I have not looked at that mechanic. Not a thing that I really want to delve into right now, but still very, very cool. All right. We're over here now. Next, I'll be going to the large city of Jiangxia. They've got Huang Shao, Buff Man, and Shen Shang Jin. No one really vital or important. That's right. You're not vital, nor are you important. Okay, over here, I do want to upgrade to a small city. I would lose a little bit of food, but I've got plenty of food. That is a lot of money, sure. But again, we need to upgrade what we can. It's finally time for me to get people out there where they need to be. And now we have one more character to bring in if I truly want to have a balanced out army. Lu Ji will not be joining in. Jia Shu, I know that you are not a huge fan of me. But here's my buddy. Here's my boy over here, Shu Nyu. I mean, he is the hegemon's aide. We'll bring him in. All right, so I actually do like my multiple bolt crossbows. And I do want to use one of them. Even two of them later. Maybe not forever, but hey. All right, let's go over to the court. Sets out. I shall inspire loyalty. Now, what I did not notice about inspiring loyalty and how powerful it is. Look at that little line right there. Relationship deepens between Lubu and Satsao. So maybe now I can make him calm down. If they have bad traits, I can talk. Look, I can be like, look, me and you are buddies. You need to calm down. And he'll be like, all right, sure. I'll be a little bit more calm. So we now have farmland. I need to move my army out later. I would like to get a kind of military build going on eventually. That way I'm able to redeploy quickly and cheaply. You have got to do that once you reach a certain size. If you don't, you'll just be traversing the land for days. Well, in the world for seasons, <laughs> four seasons. All right, he's coming after my livestock farm. A new ancillary gained, one heavenly sword. I'll have to give that to one of my friends, one of my vassals. There we go. I'm losing some money now because of what happened. That's why I like to be so very careful about what we're doing. Let's move here to the large city. I will hit him from behind. Okay, I will need to fight that out. That will be needed. We shall continue our siege for right now. Let's have a look over here. All right, every location I have is pretty much fine. I know that you're under attack, which is really unfortunate. Okay. I will need to fight that for sure. We will do that. They can wait for right now, though. Thank you for being so good at what you do. And over here, I've got my large army. But do we need to take more stuff? We absolutely need to take more stuff. I mean, I've got many people who hate me. Who's over here? The Han Empire. All right. So we're going to move together, I think, collectively. You'll come over here to the Iron Mine. I need you to be able to get over there and potentially guard another location for me. Gather your strength. March right into it and we'll be okay. Who's over here? Wong Zhu and also the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Well, they're not attacking me, which is a good thing. And let's have a brief look at Sao Tsao. Look at that. He's doing okay. He loves me. All right, Jia Shu, I'm going to inspire loyalty again. Anyone who doesn't really care for me, that is what I will use that for. Yeah, Sun Quan is over here. Lu Ji is over here. And we just have a really good court of people. It's incredible. I don't think I've ever had so many awesome characters in one game. It's been amazing. And what we'll do for now, we're going to raise up taxes for just a little while. It's crazy how besieging one location has changed up my game so much. But I might even have to minimize my other army. But let's go in and fight this battle. It is a very small garrison, but we still need to break in and kill them all. I like how they're all lining up like they're about to coronate Lubu. They're like, hey, man, come on in. We're happy to have you here. I've been using my artillery to get rid of their forts and arrow towers. Now it's time to let our leaders do some killing. My archers and crossbows will move in later to help out. But here comes Lubu, the man, the legend. I did pick up a modification to change up his visuals. He's now much more interesting to look at and check out his armor too. The dragon is here to stay and a lot of people are about to die. I cannot wait for a future playthrough where I'll be able to use make them unique and all of that from the very beginning. I've really been enjoying Three Kingdoms. Just being able to really think about your strategy has been a welcome change. Usually it's only been about your tactics and a little bit of strategy here and there, but not really that much. But here, I'm learning more and more. Obviously, you can learn how to play the game pretty fast, but to master it takes much more time. 
And right now, we have killed a lot of people, White Wave veterans and more. A few on the walls have been burned alive. Jing Liao is coming in, and Lu Bu naturally is about to kill hundreds. I like how they caught things on fire, and he's like, you know what, I'll ride right through it again. I don't really give a damn. And so he did. More volleys are now coming right in. I cannot wait for all of you to see our final battle for today's part. It is incredible. I'll be fighting over 6,000 people. Now, there's a lot that I do want to try out, and you'll be seeing a bunch of mods popping up in my playthroughs now to give more complexity and layers to the game, but also to make it look visually more stimulating, whether it's basic units on the battlefield or even generic generals too. But there's Lu Bu, the nightmare for all. I mean, he is driving a wedge into all of them here. They don't even want to move. They're like, you know what? We'll turn around and leave right away. And all the while, Jing Liao, he dismounted and he's up here killing some archers. Where he was, they ran away quickly from him. That did not take too long at all. And here we go. More nightmarish fire volleys moving right in. You're already losing your comrades, but to lose your home as well, that's got to be awful. Some manner of awful. We'll have some battles where we'll easily win, others that will be quite bloody. It's going to be interesting to see what our end game will look like. I've got a lot of very talented people. Being able to get Tsatsa was surprisingly a good call, though I wish Shahodun was not killed. I want to beat him to get another bonus or to even hire him would be great, but I did get Yuan. And Lu Bu, he's already just trucking through everyone. Jing Liao is at 37 kills, but what about Lu Bu? How many? Over 200 kills right now. Many of our enemies have already broken. If not, they're beginning to waver. I've got the missiles I need right now to break them all apart. So that is what we're going to do today. Duke Lubu is not leaving until they're all dead. I do like their visual designs, and I need to one day play as the Yellow Turbans. Maker of Ways. Look at that. Another devastating attack. These poor people on fire, having their comrades run over them, dying in the throes of chaos. Just how we like it. Yeah, all of you can leave right now. And while that is going on, let's have a look elsewhere. I think most of our enemies have broken outside of a few. Like on the wall over here, they've got five kills. The bringers of righteousness, huh? Five kills total. They're wavering. What are you bringing? The screams of terror? Yeah, you're right about that. My God. They're leaving. I think what we're doing right now is called an execution. Jing Lia has 57 kills. A few of their own men burned in their own fires. Tragic and hilarious. Lu Bu is still chasing after them. Now he is taking some damage. Not a lot, but some damage. He's at nearly 300 kills. He's only gonna get a lot more as he continues to pursue them. He will not be pursued, but he will pursue. We're just catching things on fire now. There's very few left, like in this group over here. 15 left. <laughs> they had a lot more before. They've been shattered. I love these towns so much. I mean, they're just huge. After not having towns to fight in for so long, to have them back is incredible. Now, they have units over here, some bows, but obviously they're going to break. 48 ranged power? Wow. Let's go look at my own real quick for a brief comparison. So, 48 compared to... 65 for my crossbows. Okay, so I do have more. 93 for my archer militia. Hilarious. Yeah, we're doing all right. Time to move on to a new battle. We won that battle. That was pretty good. We didn't lose a lot. I mean, naturally, we didn't lose a lot. What's over here? 20 fame and fortune. No, not going to my lord ever. I'll take it. It belongs to me. Very cool, though, that you do get more replenishment. So it does promote the idea of a mercenary campaign. Playing as a minor faction and doing that for the entire campaign would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, I cannot develop it further. I could keep it like that for a period of time, you know. I could keep it all like that for a period of time. We shall convert over here. I'm losing some population. Let's see. Population growth. Migration. But look at that. 12k to population growth for the local county. Interesting. Okay. And over here, public order is going down. Well, that's got to go away. Only because... What? Oh, interesting building. Adjacent enemy commanders. Oh, sorry. I misread that. Adjacent enemy commanders. Interesting. 
right because it's a yellow turban building sorry i've never seen those i haven't played them yet so that's actually new to me well i'm going to i think change it up yeah i would need to probably downgrade it down to convert it later okay peasant commanderies are over here i'm going to downgrade that one over here i'll convert that one or actually demolish it i don't want that one here right now and what do we have we've got communal grain farms so we have another location that's probably meant for peasantry income or at least food production yeah that's what we're gonna do then i'm gonna demolish that one too that'll give me a lot more money who will i assign over here that's a good question all right well that's gonna be someone who's gonna be able to inspire some public order Joshua, you should come on in let's go that'll work out nicely and i think that'll work out for now has anyone love yep you have okay Zheng Liao, you've gone up in rank again. Incredible. What am I going to give you today? Diligence for one, plus 25 bonus experience for units per season, plus five to melee evasion for melee infantry, and plus eight to expertise. Well, you know what you're getting today, my friend. You know what you're getting today. Now, do I have anything for expertise? I do. Retinue upkeep will go down as well. Yeah, take that, man. Take your extra expertise. It's very important to me that you do. All right, so we've done all that we can. I've got some money. I've got plenty of food. I'm going to end my turn right now. I'm sure they might initiate their attack, but if they do not, I will come for them right away. The Yellow Turban Rebellion must be squashed, and it will be. Don't do it, I dare you. Okay, they're doing it. <laughs> so I will need to find it out. If I do not, they'll barely lose anything at all. So let's go in right now. Here's a battle where it does look like I've got everything together. Let's go look at our formation over here. So we have stakes on the front lines. We have oil patches in front of them. In the future, I might space them out a little bit more. That way, whenever they're trying to maneuver, they might run into the fires anyway. And in the future, I could even move back a little bit if I want to. We're throwing caltrips up there. That way, whenever they run through, they will lose a few more men. My goal is to weaken them. But unfortunately, they have more archers than I do. See, maybe I could have moved my formation back a little bit more. Add a few units, catch those on fire, then run back. Or maybe they would be forced to run on through. Or they could avoid it all. But I would find out briefly. Over here, we have Huang Shao and He Man. I will get revenge upon you two. Lu Bu will be sure of it. But look at their archers. I mean, they've got so many out over here. Yellow Sky Heralds. We're looking at the Venerable Wu. Yellow Turban Spearmen. Peasant Spearmen. Yeah, their numbers will easily overwhelm what we have. They could encircle my formation and make us all break in a very finite, limited amount of time. Who's over here now? Wang Lao's who? Paragons. I see now. So they're about to make it to our front line. My poor archers will not be sufficient. They'll easily get overwhelmed. My infantry won't be able to hold up. They too will get overwhelmed. Weak against missile attacks? Well, guess what they have a lot of? A lot of missile attacks. I've got some standard archers back over here, too. All right. Here they come right now. The battle is about to begin. We are hitting some of their horsemen way over here. The goal is to weaken whoever we can. It's to break down whoever that we can. There we go. We're starting some fires preemptively before they even make it over here. It's very important that we do that. Oh, Lubu's going to get very angry. He's like, who lost what? And then he'll come barreling down the freaking hallway again, killing everyone. So now we're moving back. I had to light those. And here they come. They'll probably try to avoid them, though. I'm sure some might run right on through. They've got plenty of infantry and so many archers. I mean, already they are winning that battle. Let's have a look at their kills real quick. 20 kills there. 29, 21. The horsemen are moving in. I've got my G Militia, G Infantry as well, holding up on his flank. Are they going to be able to do much? Not really. Again, they're trying to get around me. Here they come right now, hitting Caltrips and the flames of right over here. I mean, look at that. That's going to catch a few on fire, at least killing a few dozen, I hope. That's always my big dream. But they are largely avoiding it in various locations. Not these guys. They're running right on through. Man, they look cool. I like the Paragons a lot. Check them out. Interesting brawlers. All right, let's go back. We're using smoke bombs to try to obscure our units. Her men and Wang Shao are easily tearing out my left flank. There goes my G Militia. That didn't take long at all. My archers are trying to respond in kind, but 
there's just too much happening. My infantry, they're charging out. They're even hitting our own flames. I just wanted to keep them back for a little bit. 68 melee power. Mine have, what, 30 melee power? Not a lot. Now, they are vulnerable to ranged attacks, but those are what I lack. On the right flank, we're holding a little bit better right now, but that won't really matter because, again, their horsemen will just completely charge into our weakened sides and destroy us all. Over here, my spear warriors are done for. They're breaking, too. We've got over here Shin Shang Jin. She's moving through. These archers are now going after what's left of my units, and they're all breaking. The battle is over. I was hoping to kill more. That did not happen. That is okay. We've learned. I've learned. We'll become better for it, and it's not a strategic blunder. It will only be a slight setback in a sense that I've got to reconquer one town, but man, it'll be good training for us. We'll continue to gain more experience, and it will not change up the fate of our war. They are out of their league right now, and I'm very happy to say that. We'll go after these guys and maybe later Yuan Shu. It takes a long time for treaties to really become okay to break, and I probably won't have the time to wait that long because, I mean, the longer I wait, the more they'll be able to do to me. But we have lost one minor garrison battle. You wait until you meet Lu Bu. Oh, he's coming all right. Get ready. The Duchy of Zhong signed a peace treaty with Yuan Shao. Ooh, Gongsun's on as well. Well, don't worry, I'll join in that battle one day. Let's have a look around here. Xu Xiuming is now gone. Zhang Yan is now declared war on Li Xian. There's a lot happening today. Oh, wow. And another child, another daughter. Okay, Sun Quan and Lu Ji had a child. That's really cool. Look at Lu Bu. He's a granddad now. Oh, picture that guy being a freaking granddad. All right, I destroyed a lot of buildings. So we're looking really darn good. All right. I'm going to take care of that in just a minute. I'm going to convert that over to a magistrate. More income from all sources. I like that. And over here, we'll get a workforce distribution office. Done. That should be all that I need over there. We do have 1.4 million people, which I believe changes up how much we're able to interact with in any given one location, which is very cool. So we're able to convert two at the same time. And now Lu Bu's gonna head right over here. Hello there, little army. What do you have? Well, I would lose way too many. Do I want their help? Not really. I'm gonna fight on my own. Let's go fight them on my own. I need to go beat, let's see, Wang Xiao, Ho Man, and you as well. Okay, I could try that out. Let's give it a go. It is now time for Lu Bu's revenge. Already we have our artillery firing into their ranks. Lu Bu is heading right after their leaders. It'll take quite some time to get rid of them, but eventually they will be gone. Wang Xiao is going to be a devastating foe to fight. Now your buffs will not really help you out here. My multiple bolt crossbow is going to kill dozens more. I mean, look at how many have already been killed. They're just burned mounds of flesh. Pretty brutal, man. Let's go over our own formation as they continue to advance towards us. Over here, we've got our axe bands on the front lines. They'll use count trips when needed. I mean, if they don't, it doesn't really matter either. Jing Liao is over on my right flank. I've got my camp pressures over here. My G militia on my right and left flanks. All of my range units are in the middle. I've got my stakes protecting the flanks of my artillery. And they're probably about to get hundreds of kills throughout the course of our battle. I mean, right there, they were trying to target some horsemen, but a lot of their infantry were already running away. And Lu Bu has broken down, what, over 100 men while trying to get Haman. Haman is wavering. Ooh, Nemesis. Okay. That's a great buff to have for us, too. That's why we have so much more power. Let's go back over here. They are charging in. Zheng Liao is out there fighting. Their horsemen are trying to advance to us, but I have a feeling they're going to leave pretty darn soon. There they go. They're going away now. Zheng Liao, seven kills total. And we'll probably watch a little bit of their infantry fight us. I mean, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty strong. All right, they kind of tapped us a little bit. Any kills at all? No kills yet. Now they're leaving. Lu Bu is still out there fighting. Here comes Wang Shao. Now Wang Shao is going to be nasty. The guy is very strong. If he waits over here to fight us, he'll probably get like over 100 to 200 kills. 
And all the while, let's go check on their infantry. Look at that. Paragons, we've got heralds. They're all moving in. Let's go watch them. Look at that guy. Shrugging off arrows like a madman. What are you going to do? Wait, you've killed one of my men already? Two of them? Holy crap. Okay, good. You only killed one. I thought you killed two. Let's watch this battle play out. He's like, all right, forget it. I'm going to put down my banner and I'm going to mess you up, fool. We've watched Lu Bu duel many times. Now he's killed two. Now it's time to watch some commoners fight. You've killed two of my men. Look, you've got a long neck. I need you to use it to like wrap around his neck and crack it. Just break it. Look at that. Three of these guys are out here fighting my men. It's pretty wild to watch them duel. I need you to win this fight for us. Do not dishonor our people by losing. Look at that battle. It's continuing to wage just for a prolonged period of time. I think he'll be okay eventually. I mean, he's killed two of our men. He's tired out. Our guy's all bloodied up too, though. I don't know what it'll take to actually win. There we go. Wait, hold on. You have a hand axe and you pushed it through his body. That's pretty metal. All right. We've got one more over here. But he's just trying to run away. He's like, guys, guys, wait. I give up. Please don't kill me. Oh, they killed him. <laughs> It's over. All right, let's go check on the battle. All the while, we've just been shooting the hell out of all of their infantry. Shen is now moving away. Lu Bu was able to get a man. And now we only have Wang Shao, who is right over here. We are weakening him. Shen Gong is close by, weakening him. Look at that. 20 melee evasion gone, 20% armor gone. It's all about percentages. He's killed 120 of my men now. I think pretty soon he'll break. It'll take time, but Jing Liao and Lu Bu will follow him and destroy him. Wang Xiao, I need you to leave. We've already wiped out your entire army. Yeah, they're gone. Especially that one guy. He's gone too. Let's go now. We've won the battle. It's all over for them. We beat the hell out of them. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that Lu Bu defeats everyone personally, so we'll need to kind of do that in each battle. Right-click, delete. All that good stuff. All right. 11 fame and fortune. Very cool. I've captured you. I can't hire you. I'm going to let you guys go, okay? Oh, I got them all. Damn. I got them all. <laughs> well, that's going to give me a lot of income. Maintain momentum every damn day. You know how I like to play. Okay. Jing Liao. I've completed your mission. He's much happier now. Look at that. We defeated him. Oh, Yi and Gong Du, I need to fight, but I've gained 15 prestige. Attend. I just need to find their faction leader so I can get regeneration, but he's not here. I'll have to find him. It's a great ability to have. All right. Duchy of Yin. You've done it. I auto resolved and look at how many I lost. I mean, I didn't need to fight it out, though. It was all good. You can go away again. Let them go. I'll Let maintain them momentum them once more. First. And your entire army is now destroyed. I'll have to find him in another faction. I'm sure we'll get to him again one day. Stalwarts for Lu Bu. Plus two to resolve. Plus six to expertise. And you are the faction leader. So plus five percent to income from all sources. Wow. Oh, you're my rival? Okay. Adorable. Oh, hold on. We are rivals now. That's really funny. I'll have to try to deepen my relationship with him. I've maxed out my momentum once more. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, it will decay quickly, but that is all right. So I've beaten him. Now it's time to go look at my other big enemy, Sun Tzu and Yuan Shu. If I can get two armies out there to fight together, even if I cannot upgrade as quickly as I would like to, that would still be quite beneficial. Sun Quan, let's see, what do you have, my friend? My very talented friend. Now you've got a blade that gives you expertise. What about... A heavenly sword. Ah, more authority. Yes, indeed. I like that a lot. All right. Faction support. Dignity. We've got intensity. We've got zeal. You've got a lot of really good abilities over here, man. Stability. Take that. You're all about commanderies for now. That could always change in the future, but for now, you know what you're good at. You know what you're here for. We need a new reform. Now, if we need a new reform, we need to probably focus on buildings that will benefit me heavily financially. Like over here, 
currency based economy plus 10 percent income from commerce let's do that right away five turns to wait for that one i'm actually okay with the static five turns allotment Ooh, look at that i've got a lot i can build up now over in nonyong shonyong i know that you need more you always need more over here is a craftsman workshops more money from industry I should probably change that up later to be more appropriate for what we have here. A currency inspector office. We do not have a lot of corruption now, but let's build it right away. That's why I'm building those out there, just so that we can get rid of corruption. Chin, you have a need to upgrade too. And so I will upgrade you. Oh, actually, let's wait a minute, because I want to change up some of my units. I haven't been able to really upgrade a lot of what I have. Lubu's army... Could use better units, true, but do we need them? Not really. We really don't. Will I pick them up? Sure. Okay, you can't get standard archers, but you can get crossbows. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will need to... Actually, do I? No, I, I will keep, like, at least one, because I, I'll need it for, like, burning down towers if my artillery is not sufficient. So, I'm going to give you some crossbows. We don't need heavy crossbows. I feel like that might be too much for right now. We have G Militia. I'll have to keep that for now, too. And you have your Cav. What about Jing Liao? So really, our army's fine. Axe bands are actually sufficient. I'll have to look at that more later. Instead, we'll look over here where I can get additional units. Okay, Archer Militia and Crossbow Men. I could just grab more artillery and we could call it a nice day, you know? Now, I've got two vanguards. I might change that out in the future because, again, that's just a lot of vanguards, whereas I could just have different things out there to fight for his army. We get a lot of horsemen. Tiger and leopard cav. We've got flying riders. Flying riders are a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I think I want to get some tiger and leopards. So we'll do that because we could use some horsemen out there. Infantry of Jing. Not really thematically appropriate for you, but I am going to keep it because, hey, I need some good infantry. That I do. Now, he's able to get mercenary infantry, camp crushers, mercenary infantry, huh? Okay. Good against shields. I'll take that. I think I like that a lot. So, we'll take that right now. We'll come over here and change it up again. All right. That gives me a lot more infantry. I don't want you to have any archer militia. Show who you want. We got so many cool characters to use. It's hard for me to, like, pick who to use, you know? All right, so I've got some more money over here. Let's again get more Tiger and Leopard Cav. Four total would really change up the battles, I think, that I have going on. All right, then over here we can grab, thankfully, Camp Crushers. And they have good armor. They're good assault. But let's see. Instead, I'm going to pick up G Militia for that. Well, we have plenty, I suppose, of any type of like anti-Cav units. So we could just get these over here. Oh, not you, Grandpa. What am I going to give you? All right. I want to give you more ranged units. So crossbowmen would be it. Take those two. Yeah, that'll work out nicely. Then finally, let's go change out our final unit over here. That's going to be our G militia. We'll keep it cheap. I can't get everything maxed out yet or I'll have no money in the future. Public order is really shooting down thanks to taxation. I did that. Look, I put that up big time. That was intentional. But now our money can go back down. And everyone is back to being happy once again. All right, let's end our turn and get ready for a new war. Because I did destroy one faction, but we have a second faction to destroy. Let's have a look at our lands real quick and see what's going on. Attitude. What about ownership? There's all of my lands over here. I had no idea I owned so much. It didn't really feel like that much. It still doesn't feel like a lot, but it actually is. When it comes to diplomacy, I've got over here my allies, Kong Rong, who's got a very interesting assortment of land. Gong Sun Zan, who's a huge power, and they're really my only friends right now. But everyone else is surprisingly okay with me, right? Okay, not right. Sun Se is okay with me. Maybe I'll leave him alone. Liu Bei is as well. So we'll focus on those who hate me. If you hate me, you will die. Like over here. The Duchy of Zhong will be destroyed in time. So let's get ready for that. And speaking of, I completed that one. No set bonus over here. It's really unfortunate. We've got to go defeat some other major characters. Sworn Brothers. Okay, that won't be too bad. Where are you at, anyway? Oh, he's way down there, right. 
Yeah, there's a lot of characters who are just way far away. I wish they wouldn't kill these guys. It's crazy to see them just die on me. But look at all the crazy benefits you can get. I defeated Wong Zhong. I have not defeated the other ones. I can never defeat Ma Chao. He's part of my family. Okay, Zhao Tai. These guys I can definitely get one day. The Yuan clan, I'll get Yuan Shu. Illa Turbans, where the hell are you? Okay, so you're definitely part of the main Yellow Turban faction. That's what we're looking at. So I will need to go fight them as well. It will take time, but I will go get them. Are you over here in that army? No, you're not. Okay. Anyway, let's get ready for a new turn. On our new turn here, we're still not making a lot of income, but once more, that is okay. Let's have a look around the map. I've got to get used to all the new portraits. It's changed things up for me. Here's an Iron Snake. Ooh, expertise and satisfaction. No one really has an issue with me anymore. They did once upon a time but no longer now everyone's a pretty big fan of me who's up here yuan shao is up here i believe he's fighting yuan shu all right gan ning i want you boys to head on up i think i might hire dion wei instead but i haven't really decided yet oh look at that <laughs> more support from merchants i'll take it whatever you can give me i'll take it right now all right so we're upgrading a building over there over here, that would be more commerce and industry. But again, it's just really not what I want. So I think I might actually change that out. Yeah, because we're not really doing anything for commerce. It's all industry. Now, I've got to get rid of corruption. So we're going to focus on doing that. I think if I destroy that building and get a new one, we'll be okay. We'll be much better for it. And over here, another minus 10% to any type of corruption. We're here to get rid of any type of corruption. Okay, we do have commerce income coming in over here. So, go help out Diao Chan. Now, here's what we can do. We can end our turn. The time of the Han is ended. The will of heaven is shifting. The celestial empire rests on the tip of a sword. The emperor's old champions now stoke their own imperial ambitions. The old ways scatter like leaves before the coming storm. Their time is over. Change is carried on the wind. Hell yeah. Okay, evidently I'm more powerful than ever. Things have changed up a lot. And I'll be taking out the only other duchy. Of course he's able to reach that point quickly and easily. I'm just glad I'm not having to fight Lubu. I am now a king, King Bu. Ah, the kingdom of Yen. What's gonna happen in the world now? You have declared yourself emperor. Now it is time to prove it and lead China out of chaos. 5,000 more bits for me, cool. Oh, okay, we've got other kingdoms already. Oh, they're very far away, holy crap. <laughs> I like how it's all the people that I'm not close to. Ma Ting and Shi Shi, okay. We're in the Three Kingdoms era, but all of the more interesting ones are not part of that. There goes the Han Emperor. Now Yuan Shao's fighting Liu Bei. Okay, you're fighting the Han Empire. They're not fighting me right. They shouldn't be. Look at these guys. We've got coalitions forming, just a bunch of crazy stuff. We've gained a clay pig. Character developments, Ma Chiu. Go look at all of the other... Oh my god, there's so many out here. So we've got, like, good items and potentially characters. And just in general, I'll take them. But let's see, you've got what over here? The Book of Mountains and Seas. Well, I want that. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know. It might take me a minute to assign roles for everyone. Because <laughs> that is a lot more than I remember. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's going to take a minute. I now have a kingdom. Damn cool, huh? All right, let's take him. Guys, you really hitched your freaking horse up to the right post. I'm a baller leader. And that's all that you need to know. All right, you can get out of here. I took your book. Leave. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of time to look at all of these and to really choose things. Especially because I've got so many freaking vanguards. You know how that can work out for administration. They're not really meant for that role, but here I am. 
Let's get rid of all these announcements, these proclamations. Kingdom of Liang, huh? Well, that gives me a good chance to do what I want to over here. Move right over there right now. Very good. We'll get ready to attack that faction. I do want you guys up in Chen. That way we can easily get to the livestock farm. Oh, what a cool day for me. So now we're back in Chen. And I'm not going to turn you from a small city into a city yet. I'm still upgrading other things. Like over here. I want to reduce more corruption. So we're going to do that right away. As I grow, I will need more and more to get rid of corruption. It's just a fact. Oh, one guy's over here. Right, right. Hey, hey, Grandpa. Wait, how old are you? Dude, you're 49. Holy shit, you did not age well. Well, all right then. He's like, I've been old since the day I was born. I like how you become king, but then it's like, oh, by the way, not really. Emperor. I'm the emperor. Okay, quick deal. Let's have a look over here. I got a little mod that lets you know if you're able to marry with anyone. I don't know who, though. Negotiate. Oh, at least it tells you, right. Okay, Liu Min. You're no one important. No, you're not. You're really not. So we can leave that alone. But again, at least it's a great way for me to kind of check things out over there. When it comes to trade, I could trade with the Han and that would give me a lot of money. I am not in the mood. But to make it work, they want territory. They're out of their fucking minds. So we're not going to do that. Yuan Shu is going to be a major enemy of mine later. The peace treaty. Right, I am fighting these other kingdoms. Who the hell are you? Underdog. Liu Yao? Really? Okay. All right, big man. Big man on campus. Okay, how much longer? I've got minus 12. <laughs> it's going to take a little while to finally get rid of that reputation I have. You mess up once and just no one trusts you anymore. But let me sort out all of my titles and we can talk about that later on. Guangzhou has been destroyed. Interesting. Guangzhou and Liu Bei no longer fighting. We've got coalitions all joining up here. There's a lot happening today. I wonder what I could do diplomatically. We've built some new buildings. Here, let's go over here and check out who I might be able to hire. You can see all of my mini positions here. Lady Bion as a Minister Herald. Minister of Justice for Chen Gong. Steward Gao Shun. Finance for Jia Shu. Minister of the Imperial Clan, Sun Quan. The Guards, Tian Wei. And for my Imperial Household, Gan Ning. Do I need more characters? Absolutely. I'm actually lacking a few for a few roles over here. So I will try to hire some later on now that I can. And now that people are much happier than they used to be. I mean, surprisingly, most people in my faction are satisfied. All right, what else am I going to give you, lady? Ah, here we go. Understanding. Take that. I've got something to give you. I've got a lot out here that I can give to various people, but here you go. Only 43. If I get you to divorce Sao Tsao, I could use you to marry someone else and draw them to my court. Ooh, Sun Ren would be great to get from Sun Tse. All right. Before we do anything, let's go back over here to diplomacy. It's only Liu Biao. Demand abdication. That will not happen today. If I could make you my vassal, that would be funny as hell. But I know that one day you would betray me. Liu Biao, we could trade. Me and you. Would it work? <laughs> yeah, no. Never mind. I was only kidding. That wasn't ever going to work, right? No. All right, let's have a look at Kong Rong. Kong Rong, how's it going, my friend? Yeah, we're fine. We're just allied. I wanted to be sure that we were just kind of friendly and doing fine. And we are. Now, what about fighting you? Okay, if I fight you, who hates me? Duchy of Zhong, Wu Shanjie. Oh, man. I've got to wait a little bit then. I forgot that we made a little deal. So, if we can't fight you, maybe I can go after Sun Tzu. And we can leave Yuan Shu alone then. That is fine. That is completely fine. Yuan Shao, you're having a tough time out of my lands, aren't you? Yeah, I forgot I had military access over there. So let's get ready to go fight you know who. Right over here. All right. Jia Shu, you're finally at rank three. Flaming shot. Take that. More cunning for you. You've got everything that you need. One day I'm going to use you out there with that extra crossbow damage. It's only like a little bit, but we can get anything and have it benefit us. 
So over here, I've got a Mel post over in Xiongyong. In Runan, I've got more stuff to pick up. More money from industry. We do have industry, so let's take that up. Jiangxia. Again, it's going to be a location probably just all about food. So food's going to be quite vital. Locally, I'm going to need more money than what I have right now. I think we'll just need to do it. If not, I'll have to be over here just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I refuse to do that. I'm already untrustworthy. Let them deal with it. We're going in right away. Oh, I know. I know. Things will change quite a bit. Even Liu Bei will be angry with me. We'll let him be. We're just going to head on in. I'm Liu Bu. It's what I do. If I didn't do that, it would be weird, actually. I was able to work on my economy for a little bit of time. No new characters have really come to me. So we're just going to push in and take what we can. Yang Zhao, you now belong to me. Guess who's close by, too. Yeah, right over here, we've got Gan Ning. We'll go after that farm. I'm sure Liu Bei would like to fight me now, but we'll deal with him, too. It's all about time. It all takes time, but we'll get to all of it. All right, occupy that one. Now. The price of ambition, keeper of the status quo. Very nice. That gives me what? More trade influence, 15% replenishment for five turns, and better relations with the Han Empire, which doesn't really matter to me. Okay, I now own Chen. Ooh, hello, forged iron scale. Not really what I want, but hey, it's an option. I've used all of my assignments. I'm now making a decent amount of money. We'll make more in one turn whenever I've got all of my administrators back out there. Yeah, give me more income. Whatever else you can get over here. 5% more income from all sources, and that's really good too. My lands are looking amazing right now. Oh, look who's down here. Oh boy. That should be interesting. Lady Wu. Well. Let's end our turn and hope for things to be okay between me and Liu Bei. If not, we'll have a much longer war than I would like. But if I can concentrate my war, that would be better. That's why I hate having treaties. It's why I don't like it because generally it takes such a long time for you to, to, to really declare war afterwards. Oh man, your people will just age and grow old and die. So I'm trying to avoid that. Xun Yu, you are now bright. More cunning, expertise, and more military supplies. Very good. Okay, we're fine right now. We are doing okay. Yuan Shao is trying to ambush someone. I'm going to push on now. Let's make it over here. Yeah, if I can make it to their capital, that would be hilarious. Yeah, I'm nearly there. Over here, why don't we go after the livestock farm? That's why we have two armies. It's really why. Because we can easily go after all of their crappy little garrisons. Yuan Shu is evidently fighting someone else or had his armies elsewhere. What a bad choice. He's neighboring Lu Bu. I mean, look at that. I'm going to have a lot more food coming in now. Good for me. Okay, Gan Ning and Shao Yuan, you're now friends. They're all becoming friends. We've gained a Marshal G, a White Thoroughbred, and a Clay Dog. So we've got options in life again. Shao Yuan, you are rank 5. Very good. I have no followers for you. I haven't gained any for quite some time. Yeah, what about a new mount? Here you go, a red thoroughbred. Enjoy, my friend. And for what you need, passion. Yeah, more melee damage for all your shock cav. I'll have to make sure you have shock cav. Medium spear cav. Hmm, okay. I'll change that up. John Ling, what do we need over here? A farm laborer camp. I'll take that. It's relatively cheap. Jung Xia, nothing for me to build for you. Let's go over here to diplomacy now. It's still Liu Biao. On Empire, no way. Peace Treaty, not for me. Ooh. What about a non-aggression pact? We could try that. I don't want to fight Liu Bei for quite some time. Well, it depends. Who are you fighting? You're fighting Gong Sun Zan and Yuan Shao. Never mind. That's actually a thing that we probably want to do one day. As for the other factions, I mean, look, if they want to try to fuck with me, let them try to fuck with me. Yeah. I think we'll be all right. Let's end our turn again. I know it's been quite some time since our previous battle, but again, I very much enjoy the actual campaign map and all the theatrics involved. Whoa. Take a look at that army. Now that is an army, man. A garrison and you. Ji Ling, the blunt instrument, a grand director. 
And a grand warrior at that. Oh, he's very happy to be part of his faction. What about you? You're rank three. And you? Shen Yan Yue. Okay, rank three as well. This should be quite challenging, huh? Here comes Lu Bu now. He's heading towards Ji Ling. We will take out the three leaders they have before we fight over 6,000 men. That's a lot of men. So we're going to let him destroy as many as he's able to. If we can get rid of Ji Ling, that'll be their very powerful vanguard leader completely wiped out. Then we can focus on their other soldiers. There we go. Another large gap in their formation. Lu Bu will take a lot of damage, but it does not matter. We will easily destroy them all. And there we go. Comparing the two really tells you how large Lu Bu is. I mean, he's about to completely destroy the guy. Let's move out of that and just check out the battle. A little bit closer than it was. Goodbye, Ji Ling. You could use a better weapon, by the way. And he's down. Now, let's go over our formation. We're fighting how many? 6,346 men. Zheng Liao will be over here right by Chen Gong. Later, I might move him into the woods on my right flank. I've got over here my camp crushers on my left and right flanks, crossbows and archers right in the middle with all of my artillery. I've got my stakes right in front of my archers and crossbows. My axe bands are holding up the front lines. And I've got my horsemen on our left and right flanks waiting for any enemies to attack. I've got my oil patches out there on the front lines too. Lu Bu is at 83 kills, only going up. I'm here to take out every single leader that they have before we move away. Like her. She's about to have a really, really bad day. Lu Bu's like, oh, hold on, I'm on my way. I'm going to make sure you die, lady. Ah, here's the tree that we're going to fertilize. Let's put some blood on it. I think some blood would look great on that tree. Ooh. Ouch. That's one way to go. So now Lu Bu has one more leader to go after. And already our enemies are wanting to get the hell out of here. I'm going to try to catch trees on fire. That way we can make them take damage in addition to just wanting to leave the battlefield. Unbreakable, huh? Maybe not forever. We've got one more person to go after. That would be Chiu Yan Yue. Lu Bu's at 95 kills. I mean, will he take a lot more damage while out here? He's already taken a lot more damage. But we are going to go after her. It will take some time. You are pitiful. My formation, I think, is rather sufficient. My ranged units are very good. They're buffed up by my Resolve of the Righteous. I mean, Jing Liao is able to enhance any nearby units by doing that, which is an awesome thing. And Lu Bu, of course, is going to go after her and hopefully break her. We're fighting how many now? 6,285. And later, I'll have Lu Bu go after ranged units. They'll be back here. I want them destroyed. If I can destroy them quickly and easily, then I'll only need to worry about their infantry. Here comes a few more attacks from my ranged artillery. They're slowly moving up. But if I could just catch these trees on fire, I know it's raining. Thereby, we're going to have a much more difficult time in doing that. But look at how many are here. It's going to be hard to miss them all, you know. There goes my trebuchet. We have yet to kill her. We're still chasing her around. She's rank three. Once we get rid of every commander. I'm still very glad they won't all just completely rout right after killing their leaders. I mean, come on. They still do have a lot of soldiers and probably some sub commanders out there. Some junior officers. We we're able to help them hold. She was like, I need to leave. Lu Bu is hurting me a lot. So now she's leaving. We'll go watch the main battle in a moment. But here comes Lu Bu again. 100. And so kills, 161, and only going up. I mean, each time I say it, he's already gotten more kills. She's like, yo, I'm out. Let's leave. You have to wonder who's behind her. All the while, it's Lu Bu. Lu Bu's coming by. Here, we'll zoom out just a little bit just to watch all that play out. And look at how... <laughs> he's just zooming towards her. The murder train is coming, lady. You gotta leave. Lu Bu says goodbye. All right, we're going to let him chase her down. She's not going to be here. Or, oh, yeah. It's done. She's gone, too. We got them all. Let's go back to the battlefield now. I've hit many of them. We've got to hit more of them. They're on their way. We have yet to have our ranged battle just yet. It's rather dark over here, too. I should light things up for them. Yeah, I should light things up for them. 
My trebuchet, not even 80 kills yet. My bolt crossbow, 91, but it could be better. Yeah, I'll know how to place my formation in the future to mitigate any type of movement like that. Some archer militia is close by. There's a nearby fire, reducing their morale by 10. Fatigue is going up, so they're going to tire out before they even reach me. And Lubu, again, will be going after archers close by. Over on my right flank, we've got a battle to worry about. Three groups of horsemen trying to head towards me. We've caught many trees on fire. Now they're heading towards a crime scene. You're about to witness a murder. Our Call the morgue. We're going to need a caravan to deliver all of these bodies. Mounted Lantern Militia, already running. General dead, you're wavering. I've got my own heavy Shi Liang Cav. Charging right in. They'll quickly and easily destroy them. We're gonna lose only a handful of our own riders, if any at all. Now here they come, the main enemy formation. They're advancing, albeit slowly. Then we're gonna light those oil patches and they're gonna run on through. Now, I'm slowly modifying my formations and my tactics as well. They're a bit less intimidating to fight than the yellow turbans. I mean, those guys just look scary. They look zealous. We've lit one. We've got more to light. Once I do, that'll be more damage for them to deal with. Here's a few smoke bombs as well. Lubu is still out there attacking some ranged units. You can see them way out over there. They are hit. Okay, hold on. What's over here? Ah, Rapid Tiger Infantry. Those guys are deadly. So you have one on that flank and another one over here. We've got some horsemen to worry about. Saber Cav. My Camp Crushers over here are on the left flank again. My G Militia are trying to hold things up. They're fighting some Rapid Tiger Infantry who are easily killing them. Lubu is still fighting. I've taken out a lot of their ranged units, but we have so many more to hit. That's why I should have had my Archers and Crossbows a little bit closer to them. Jing Liao. He's moving back in to help out. He's going to fight over there in that copse of trees. And back over here, we have nearly broken a group of Saber Cav. A Shi Liang Cav are easily destroying them. My Camp Crushers are moving over here to fight some G Militia. Though, I should have put them into guard mode. That way, they wouldn't just run off after them after they break. But, I mean, check out these guys and how cool they look. Those are some intimidating looking fellows. And our enemies are fleeing already. That's why guard mode would have been good, because now... We're missing a bunch of Rapid Tiger Infantry, but I had a very large battle to manage. My crossbows will be hit, as will my trebuchet crew. My crossbows are still winning their own fight. Lu Bu is at nearly 400 kills. Over here, my Shi Liang Cav on the right flank are moving through them. I'm trying to target any of their archers. We're about to get hundreds of kills over there. Zhang Liao is now fighting, again, Rapid Tiger Infantry. He's doing a good job. Quickly and easily bringing them to the ground. He's at over 60 kills, buffing up nearby units. Here comes some more Saber Infantry. We've got a few more minutes left in the battle. No, we've got quite a bit of time left. Let's have a look over here. It's rather dark. Jun Infantry are not looking great. I don't know how many we've killed in the flames. Probably a decent amount. On oh, my left flank is where I'm really weak. Yeah, see, they got me. Right on my crossbows, man. Right on my crossbows. And Lu Bu is back over here at over 400 kills now. He's very tired. Very, very tired. If we could get rid of that... Stamina problem, my god. The guy would never cease. Camp Crushers are still chasing them. They'll eventually leave the map and then I'll need to bring them back. We've got some horsemen close by too. Lance Cav, who might try to flank him from behind. It won't really do much to them at all. My crossbows are winning the battle. Sure, they've gotten some kills, 124. We're looking at 25 and 94. Their crossbows are getting more kills than standard archers. My multiple bolt crossbow has over 200 kills. We've broken them on the right flank. Thank you, Jing Liao. We're now charging out where we can. Lubu is still crushing. Over 400 kills. My own horseman, 340. And we're about to run into some more crossbows and archers. We've burned down a few more oil patches. Yeah, like that one right over here. Or by a few more, I mean one more. Camp Crushers are now attacking the G Militia again. Those horsemen came in, but they didn't do very much. They got some kills, but it doesn't really matter. And over here, let's see, 39 kills. Who else do we have? One group of my crossbows broke, but now they're back firing into the flank of that group. These G militia are now breaking. Not a great thing, but guess who's coming by to help out? Lubu! My god, he's coming in! You know what Lubu's gonna do now. Lubu smash! 
and many people died that day. The end. Over 500 kills now for Liu Bu. One step closer to victory. My Xi Liang Cav are moving back in. I wanted to go help out on my left flank. Zheng Liao is following them. He's at 97 kills. I've got some Axe Bands moving too. G Militia. Crossbow is also moving in. Chin Gong is close by. Now, Chin Gong has a crossbow that we'll check out later. And I need to use that extensively. Giving a ranged weapon to your strategist, <laughs> it's fun and awesome. They can actually get a decent amount of kills with it. What's over here now? Over 400 kills with only one group of Cav. We're fighting in the trees. The trees are our cover. I couldn't imagine riding that quickly in the woods. I mean, I have gone horseback riding and, oh my God. Hold on to that main and just charge uphill. Do what you can. G Militia are now moving in. We're flanking their rapid tiger infantry, killing as many as we can. They're now wavering. Chen Gong is over here at 31 kills. I mean, look at Chen Gong. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck him up. Got a crossbow. Chen Gong is ready to merc some people today. He's only at 31 kills, but hopefully he'll get more later as he gets a better line of sight on his foes. But look at the battle now. There's not a lot left. We've killed most of them. And it's awesome. I mean, you know how many we took down. Over 6,000 men. They've broken. We just need to chase them all down now. Let's go check on Chen Gong. He's probably losing his mind. 37 kills. Yeah, he's just shooting the crap out of everyone. He's like, get the hell out of here. Get. Got my crossbow gun. No. He's had nearly 50 kills already. Chen Gong. Libby's like, all right, man, put it down. He's like, what are you talking about? You're killing hundreds every battle. It's my turn. It's Chen Gong's turn. 52 kills now. <laughs> well, you go, Chen Gong. I'm proud of you, buddy. You did it. The battle's over. We just need to chase him down. Good job, team. Well, that got him. Okay. Not a bad takedown this at all. 1,300 lost. They lost over 4,600. I gained a lot of money, too. I will take up my momentum every time. Every single time, I'll take momentum. They lost a lot in one battle. The Han Empire, huh? No. <laughs> no we're not doing that today, Gong Sun Zan. You're a cool guy, but you can be gone. All right, let's wait for a new turn for Lu Bu to give them the frickin' pile drivers they deserve. Every one of them. Okay. Liu Biao. Sun Tzu and Liu Biao are fighting. Interesting. Ooh, hello. Kingdom of Yen. Liu Biao's not a fan of me. What a shocker. Okay, Liu Biao requested the Kingdom of Liang to join their war. Mating, I took your child, so there's some drama going on here, man. Wow. Character developments. Do we have like anyone worthwhile? I'll have to check in a minute. I see another Lu. Rivals. Your nemesis was killed in battle? Oh, shut up. You're such a drama queen. Oh, you killed my nemesis. Well, maybe you were too late for it, fool. All right, Young Ren, rank four. Another Vanguard, though. Not really my thing. Not really my thing, admittedly. All right. He's got some armor, but nothing that great. Not worth it to hire him, to be honest. Family tree. I mean, we got two Sun children. Good for you, Sun Quan. What else do we have around here? We got... Oh, hello. <laughs> got a little icon change. Cool. We have so many children. Diao Chan and Lu Bu have, what, four children now? Yeah. Li Kui. That's a lot. Four total. Well, good job. Who's alive? Wang Xiao, Liu Yao, Wang Zhong, Zheng Liao, naturally. Yan Wei. Oh, Shu Chu. I want to get him one day. Who do you work for? Doesn't matter. I'll get him. Protector to three realms, past loyalties. Liu Yao. Oh, really? Okay. So we might be able to fight him one day. That would be good. Look at all the money that I have right now. It's pretty awesome. Okay, Chen, I'm not going to upgrade your main capital yet. Again, I'm only upgrading minor locations. Here's a lodge. I think I want a tea parlor. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, I think I do want that. But for now, we'll just take that. If we need to convert it later, we will. We've got plenty of funds. Act all right, what's over here now? Army action points available. Correct. Correct. Well, we could come over here and annex it, but nah. 
So I would need to fight one more battle to beat them. What if I were to delegate? How bad would it be? I mean, I beat their major armies, so how bad would it be? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't do that again. We're not doing that again. Gun Shuan, I'm going to let you go. Let them go. And I'm going to occupy what you have. I beat people, then I let them go. That's some decent money, by the way. Okay, so we'll need a little bit to replenish, but it won't take too long. I mean, look at my replenishment. Two turns until we're fully replenished. We got a lot of tools for that, so we're fine. I just wanted to make sure that we had it right away. You two are rivals. Yeah, Ju Ling is not a fan of my faction. He's a major champion for his own, so I'm probably, like, stepping on his toes. A lot of peasantry income over here. Okay, let's have a look at that real quick. So, we got over here food production. We have over here income from peasantry, so I think... Ooh, minus 12 to public order. Hmm. No, <laughs> I think not. Let's get rid of corruption. Yeah, we have way too much corruption, so we'll try to get rid of that. I'll keep the military building for now, actually. We'll change it up later. For now, that should work out nicely. Here we go. Machao, I'm going to let you come over here. Give me more population growth. Or sorry, not that. Give me more replenishment. Perfect. That will allow me to quickly get my armies together. Because Ying Zhou has a major army. They have no great commander, though. Yeah, none. They have Lady Wu, Yuan Anyang. Then down here, who do we have? Again, no one worthwhile. Now, you're all kind of crappy. All right, let's go back over here, not to attitude. All right, we'll go to ownership. Here I am with all of my lands. Diplomacy. So, the Duchy of Zhong is already nearly destroyed. How much more do I need to take out? Duchy of Zhong here too. Okay, so we will need to go to the southeast. Then Liu Bei will probably be a grand contender. We're also fighting Shang Tingguang. And after that, when it comes to wealth, very low. Oh yeah, it could be much higher, couldn't it? Yeah. Moderate over here. So I've got, I've got like a few moderate locations that we're working on. I'm now making 3,500 from my income. So I've got two full armies to keep that in mind. Population is looking very good. A lot of my lands are doing very well outside of that one mine. That mine is not doing very well. I'll try to upgrade more things. I know a lot of factions are not a huge fan of me, but that is okay. My buildings are also much more expensive too, so that is a huge problem. Demand abdication, create vassal. Wang Long, I know that you're way down here. I could turn him into my vassal and that would potentially Welcome, be a good friend. thing. Well, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, yeah, maybe, but by the way, I want everything. I want your house. I want your stuff. No, dude. You can't have my stuff. <laughs> this fucking idiot here. Yeah, man. Can I have all your shit? No, you can't have my stuff. God. These fucking people, huh? Can't trust them, man. Now, if I leave Liu Bei alone, that would... Let's see. He's fighting Yuan Shao and Gongshu Zhan. Kong Rong is not wanted to fight him. Hmm, it's such a precarious situation. I would rather not go up there. Let them just kind of stew and do their own thing for a time. I would rather come down here and conquer more in Wu, though traveling in Wu. <laughs> that can be interesting. I cannot wait to try to help out with all of my stuff over there. I've got 10 momentum, but we'll see later. We'll see later. There's a lot that I would like to hire, but they're just not coming to me yet. I've got to have time to try to get any of them to come join me. I could like issue a few spies if I had more agents, but I do not. I need more. I need so much more. All right, everyone, leave a like down below. I look forward to more tomorrow. Any tips or advice will be appreciated. In time, I'll know like my precise builds on what I should have out here. And until then, follow the Kingdom of Boo.